Welcome to the Zep Classic. Uh, I've been busy getting, I'm going to be teaching at a community college. Um, I did a couple talks on uh, radiology informatics or computers and radiology and uh, it went so well they needed an instructor to do a course on it and uh, hired me to do it. So it was pretty cool. So I'm getting my class ready. That's what I've been busy with and riding the motorcycle. So anyhow, I'll just shut up and uh, we'll get into this song. It's off the BBC Sessions, a new release. Great, great CD. Page really outdid himself on this. Um, really some great versions of the songs done early. So um, pick it up and uh, be able to play along with this. <laughs> song I figured it was a blue song I could tell by the the structure of it it's it's in the key of G we'll be playing in uh, G minor pentatonic with some blue scale in there with the blue note um, but um, so we got our 1 G 4 C and 5 D those are the chords he just uses the C up here at the um, 8th fret and then the D at the 10th fret. So um, let's go through the lick so you can get that down. To start out with we're going to hit the 3rd fret of the 6th string twice. Then we'll go to 6 on the 6th string and then 5 on the 5th string. Okay and then we're going to hit the 4th string at the 3rd fret twice at back to 5 on the 5th string and then three to five on the uh, fourth. Okay, so all together we have this. One, two, three, four. Then we just take that pattern up to the eighth fret, which is our C note. back to our G and we take it up to 10 for one time through back to uh, 8 and then 3 once it sounds like he's doing just a bit really it is a D7 you can play the full chord, but I, I really just hear him hitting the uh, fifth, fourth, and third string. Okay, so we've got uh, fifth fret on the fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string, and fifth fret on the third string. Okay, so you got that down. 
the little variation that he does on the lick. The second time through, he'll do the first half um, normal, if you will. Once. Twice. Okay. Now the next two, um, he's going to do this. So what he does is he's sliding on the third string from the second fret to the fourth, and then catching the first string at three once he reaches four. Now what I do is I pick my third string and I'm plucking with my um, middle finger the first string. It's just a little quicker than using your pick. And then you're back into the lick, the second half of it. So you're going six on the sixth string to the fifth fret on the fifth string. We have this. So we do that twice, and then we're going to move it up to that uh, eighth fret. So we're going to slide from seven to nine on the third string. Then we're back up to our first position. to the tenth position so we'll be sliding on the third string from nine to eleven back all right so that's the variation on the lick not too difficult just takes a little bit of practice and you'll be able to play it up to speed I like the way Paige uh, arpeggiates this. Um, it's just a real nice feel. Kind of reminds me of communication breakdown. Where he goes back and forth between the third and um, fourth string. But um, that's the rhythm of the song. I'll go through the licks. Um, they're not very difficult. It's just kind of quick in some spots. Now I've written all this out so you'll be able to follow along with my notes. So since we're in G minor pentatonic, we're, here's our G root, so our, our chord would, our uh, pentatonic scale would be. Alright, so it starts out like this. Alright, so what we're doing there is we're going to take 13 on the second string, bend that up. And then we're going to go to 10 on the first string to 13, pull off back to 10. Then we'll hit 13, bend and release twice. Then we go 13, 10, and then 13, 11. Back to 13 on the second, 10 on the first, and then 13, two bends and releases. Then just a 13 to um, 11 on the second string. So we have this slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next lick will be up here at the 15th position. We're going to start on 18. So what we're doing is we're going to hit 18 with a bend and release twice on the first string. Then we're going to hit 18 to 15 on the first, strike and 15 on the second. Then we come into this lick. We're going to do this 10 times total. 18 bend up and just stopped and then you go 15 on the first and then 15 on the second. Alright, so you do that 10 times. Okay, the next lick will go like this. Alright, that's a typical pages and both of these licks are. What we're going to be doing is hitting 18, pulling off to 15 on the first string, and then hitting 15 on the second. And he does that a total of 15 times. I'm going to come out of it and I'll show you the next lick. It's pretty quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so again it's fast, but what he's doing is triplets, alright? So we're going to take, after the last pull off, we're going to go back to 15 on the first, to 18 with a bend, then 18 unbent, and we're going to start our triplets. So 18, 15 on the first, to 18 on the second. 1, 2, 3, then we're going to go 15, 18, 15 on the second. 1, 2, 3, so we have... Then what we do is come to the third string and we're going to pull 18 off to 17 and 15 and catch 15 or 17 on the fourth string. Then we just lay our finger down and do a pull off on the third string from 17 to 15. Same thing on the fourth string. Alright, and then we're going to come to the fifth string and do a pull off from 17, 16, 15. We're adding that blue note, the, the C sharp, and then slide back. Then we're going to do another pull off from this position, from 15 to 13, and catch um, 15 on the 6th string. And then what he does is he comes to the um, 12th fret of the 3rd string, and then uh, 15 on the 4th. That ends the chord. You're in this position now. Okay, so you can see. See how he ends it. It's real cool to learn. Alright, we're coming towards the end now. Um, so let me take it from this triplet lick. One, two, three, four. Now what we're going to do after we... We're going to go 12 on the third string to 15. Then hit the 13 twice on the second string. Back to 15 and 12 on the third. Then we're going to slide in to 15 on the 2nd. Alright, so what he does next, we're going to slide in on the 2nd string at 15, hit 15 on the 1st, back to 15 on the 2nd. Then we're going to take 18, bend that up 3 times. Then 18 to 15, again another triplet back to 18 on the 2nd, back to 15 on the 1st, to 18, 15. And then we're going to end it with a 17 on the 3rd, to 15 on the 3rd, and then slide off. So that's the second to last lick. Here's the very last lick in the ending of the song. Alright, so what we're doing is we're pulling off 6-3 to open, and then we're going to pull 6-3 open on the second. That's first string, and then same thing on the second. We'll do that five times. Alright, then we hit six twice on the first string. Then we're going to do our triplet. Three, five, three. Then we're going to go to the third string and hit six, pull off to five to three. Hit five on the fourth string. Five on the third to three, back to five on four, and then we're going to go to five on five to three and five on four. And then we just go to partial G sharp seventh and then a full G sharp seventh. So when I say partial, we're not hitting the bottom two chords, we're just hitting the sixth through maybe the third. And then we do 
the full G7. Um, so let's do that part together slowly. All right, one, two, three, four. That's the whole song. I really hope you enjoy it, and uh, it's kind of fun to play along with, and it was fun to learn, so take care. Enjoy.